Hey everyone, Zoom just added Zoom Tasks to the Zoom Workplace app. I'm going to take you through it and show you how to enable it. Now, if you know what it's about and you want to get right to the settings, how to enable it, go to this chapter, the chapter that starts at this time in the video, and you'll get right to the settings. There's two things you have to turn on, tasks and the AI power that generates the tasks for you. So let's talk about Zoom Tasks. Zoom Tasks uses AI to pull tasks from your meetings and put them in a nice list for you. So yesterday I enabled it for the first time, and then I kind of forgot about it. I just went about my day. I had some Zoom meetings. And at the end of the day, I was like, oh yeah, let me check that new tasks thing. And I remembered some of the tasks, that, some of the to-dos and follow-ups I had from the meetings. I had two or three from each. When I checked the task tabs in Zoom Workplace, it had like a dozen. And they were all real things that I had to do. I was, I was immediately impressed. So let's take a quick look at how it works. It's really simple. So I have my Zoom Workplace app behind me. And there's a new tab for tasks. And... I was in a few real Zoom meetings today with clients, actual meetings. I have some follow-ups and I, I know what my follow-ups are, but let's see what it, what it got for me. So looking at these, <laughs> I'm looking at this list. I mean, these are real, these are real follow-ups and I remember them. I would have done them anyway, but it's so reassuring just to see them all written out here. Now, right now we're on the recommended tab. Zoom's AI is giving me a chance to decide whether or not I I like what the AI said here and whether or not I want to accept the want to, want to accept each task. I can double click on them, get a bunch of information, add attachments, there's things I can do. But just first off, I have to say I'm these are I, I actually have to do these tasks. I'm pleased with what it came up with. And so over here I have a chance to delete them, assign them to someone else, or accept them. So I'm going to accept them and that'll move them all to the my tasks tab. In my tasks you can see I, I have, it's probably a good idea to, there's a filter. You can filter them to just show the uh, incomplete task. You don't need to see your complete task, but I'm just showing you everything here. One thing I really like is you can click over here on the source for this task and get the meeting summary from the meeting where the task came from. So if you forget the context, what is this task about? You could see the whole meeting right there. And saving for the best, saving the best for last for each one, there's a little AI button where it gives you options to, to actually do the next step. It'll suggest one using AI, it suggests I should start a chat about this. And if I click it, it will take me to chat, uh, schedule a meeting, create a doc, or compose an email. And as, AI, uh, as Zoom AI gets more agentic, it'll start doing more of this. But right now, it's actually just giving a link so I can get started on these tasks. So that's really all there is to it. But um, unfortunately, Zoom can't enable this by default. Some users aren't allowed to use AI. So you have to turn it on yourself. So let's go to the settings. And we're going to our web portal settings. It's not in the in-app settings. So go to zoom.com or zoom.us. Log in, you should see something that looks like this. So if you look at the panel on the left, you'll see tasks right there. That's actually not it. That actually opens up the task app itself in a new in a new window. If for some reason you can't access the workplace app, this is a nice another way to access it. But I prefer you staying in the app. It's nice to have everything in the workplace app. What you want is to scroll down a little bit more to settings. And there's two places in the settings you have to go. First, at the top, you see all of the settings for all the different Zoom apps or Zoom features, and you'll see tasks. And this enables Zoom tasks in general, but this only allows you to create your own manual tasks. This doesn't do the AI part of it, which is, which is what it's all about. So you want to go back up to this list of, of Zoom features, and all the way at the left is AI Companion. And here are... Here are the settings for the AI Companion, and here are the settings for tasks, that right there, within AI Companion, and here it is, okay? So automatically generate, generate the recommended actions. That was the last thing I was showing you where it was create an email, create a doc, but right under it, right there, this is the key one. Automatically generate tasks from meeting summaries. That's the part that, that's making me excited about this whole thing. That gives me the reassurance that if I forget to do a follow-up, it'll be listed somewhere for me. So make sure you don't just enable tasks, you enable AI Companion for tasks. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, this, this button is grayed out. It's not letting me turn it on. You need your admin to enable it for you. If you are an admin, you probably know this stuff for your admin, but we'll go through it very quickly. So you scroll down on the left panel in the admin side to account management, account settings, and you'll see basically a mirror of what we were just looking at. So over on this side, we have to enable tasks and that's just the general enablement. And then we have to go back to the AI companion settings and we have to open it. If you're an admin, you have to press this extra button to open it up. 
And it's just the same as we're looking at in the user settings, tasks, same exact thing, turn it on. And if you're an admin, you might want to click this little lock button here. What this will do is that will lock it in the on position so users won't accidentally turn it off and say, hey, I don't have my task. There's something wrong. It'll be there for them. So that's all there is to it. Once you have it enabled, just set it and forget it. Go about your normal Zoom meetings throughout the day. And when you feel like it, check the new tab and see what it pulled out for you. Let me know in the comments how this is working for you. Thanks for watching.